Hello and thank you so much for joining me today for another exciting episode of unboxing. Um, maybe it's not really an unboxing because we already did the unboxing last week. So um, this is gonna be the full review of the uh, Versa 2, uh, Fitbit Versa 2 because recently I did the unboxing of the Fitbit Versa 2 and that was for the special edition. Now this is the part two of that video. So in this video, basically we would gonna do the full review of the um, Fitbit Versa 2. And again, this is gonna be the special edition because basically that's what the bot said. So remember, um, we had few extra bands in the box um, and um, this is the one that we have with the uh, with the watch at the moment. It's the uh, it's kind of cloth. It is very 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 solid. Uh, it feels premium, right? So uh, this is good. And inside the box, we also have the um, silicone silicone one, and it is just like as usual. It still feels solid, but it's not good as the um, as the cloth one um, and like I was saying before on my previous video that I'll be linking somewhere on the screen here or there maybe uh, this is the first time that I'm doing an unboxing and I see two pairs of, uh, of bands this is I've never seen this before especially not on the uh, on the Apple uh, products and uh, yeah this was very uh, very good to have actually uh, two set of bands um obviously um it was more expensive than the um than the other version of fitbit versa 2 this one i will link the price down below on as well as the price of the other boxes because on the box of this one they said it was the uh, uh, fitbit versa special edition so maybe that's why we have those two extra bands all right let's let's put this aside and continue um i personally did not have too much time to explore the watch really but uh, we can go through this together so we can have an idea about what this offers i'm pretty much sure that it is the same thing as the other version of fitbit versa maybe plus a few more extra things but let's find out together Remember, I was saying that I don't like the fact that the the watch has the uh, the button here, but you know what? <laughs> Just because of that, I might return this watch actually. Um, yeah, let's continue here. So remember, last time we already paired everything. Uh, let me unlock this phone quickly here. We already pair uh, the watch with the uh, with the phone, so basically you can have everything on the watch as well as on the phone so you can control your watch on your phone and control your phone on the watch so um yeah so today we are just gonna focus on the watch itself uh, so as you can see uh, we are having just a clock at the moment and when we uh, go where we swipe from the uh, right to the left we have the first page that says exercise as a size, you have timer, we have alarm, and we have Spotify. So let's uh, go into details because this is actually a full review of this uh, product. So let's try to go with the exercise. So what kind of exercise you can do with the Fitbit Versa 2? We can run, I hope you can see it. We can do bicycle. We can swim with it. Treadmill. Like run again, uh, lift weight, and uh, interval timer. Maybe this will give you time to switch between exercise. I'm not too sure. If I'm wrong, you can always leave a comment down below so I can fix my mistake. Like I said, I didn't have time to uh, actually go through all these settings. Yeah, right. So because uh, I need time actually to do exactly a big, big full review because I have to use it almost for a month or two or so but i don't want this video to be hanging around for long so i decided to do a later review of this um then we can do workout and then i think that's it right 
Uh, so, like I said, well, you can run, you can do bicycle, you can swim, you can treadmill, uh, lift weight, interval timer, and work out. So, let's say that we are choosing running. If you want to run, just say let's go. You just press start, and then um, it start. Obviously, I'm not running, so it's not gonna do anything. And let's see how the uh, you see at the bottom. Uh, I don't know if you can see it. It was, yeah, it was trying to uh, to read my heart rate, but because I didn't wear it, it's not actually. Uh, so it tried to read it when it does not see any hand. It just stopped from reading it, uh, and then it pauses because it does not see anything. Okay. So that is run. Basically, it's gonna calculate, measure your heart rate, and calculate the kilometers that you you'll be doing, and nothing too fancy about this. Uh, just have to uh, to go back. To go back, I guess you have to. Uh, oh, actually, you can switch between. Uh, so here you can read the heart rate. I don't know how it's getting these numbers because I have didn't know watch I didn't know where the watch, but it's kind of maybe when I put my uh, my times in there, so you actually kind of read it a little bit, and uh, that is it. So average. I'm trying to see how you're gonna stop this actually. Go to the next exercise. I have to hold it maybe. Uh, no, let's. Uh, Trust me, I don't even know how to go back for clear all the message. And okay, so uh, oh, I have to press this and end it. There we go. So yeah, done. So that's it. And then as once you're done, it comes back to the uh, to the watch again to the clock. Sorry, that is exercise. Let's go to timer. Timer, as always, we know it. It's gonna tell you. It's gonna maybe wake you up or. Uh, um, anything about time will be on this side. So timer, I just press it, it start counting the time for you. You can pause it and then again start over again. You see, and you can start again. Um, this side will count down. So maybe I want them to, maybe I want to set one minute um, on countdown, it's gonna uh, count down for me. So that's pretty much it, nothing too special about this. And that's all we have. You have the timer and the countdown. So um, that's it. We can go back. Again, we have now the alarm. So this is different. So actually, this would just do timer, like we said, countdown and then count forward for you. And then again, uh, here for the alarm, if you want to wake up in the morning, if you want to set up a timer, um, anything that you can do with the alarm, this is gonna be on this side. So let's try. Let let's try to uh, to set a new alarm on this one. Let's, right now it is uh, around 1.30 ish, so let's try to set it for one, uh, no I think it's, I think, let me see my watch, what time is it actually, it is 1.24 at the moment, so uh, let's set to 1.25, good, and then what now, 1.25 p.m., you go back, you have to go back, you have to press the button, and then you go on. So anyway, you can set this for every day, um, any specific day you want to, or if you can choose multiple. Then it's on actually, so at 125, this is supposed to ring. Uh, let's see, oh, it's already 125, so actually I was too, it was, um, I don't know, it's not 125 yet. Let's see what time is it. It is 125, I guess. Um, anyway, you get the idea. I think I uh, I set it up too late. So 125 has passed. So that's the alarm. Uh, this actually can go to Spotify. I think basically I have Spotify on my phone. Maybe because of that, he put the um, the icon there. Let's see uh, if it's gonna connect to my phone. Oh, it's not connecting to my phone because basically I have not signed in up. I have not logged in yet. So uh, it says log in to Spotify on the Fitbit app. Let's try that, right? We are here to set the uh, the version. Uh, the, we are here to do the uh, 
the setup here. So you said uh, go do it on your phone. So I'll try to set it up. I'll be right back. So actually, we'll show you how to set it up in case you don't know. So what I find out is we're going to drag it from the bottom, from, from up to down, and we're going to have our watch Versa 2. Um, we're just going to click on the Versa 2. Oh, hold on a minute. You're going to click there, and then you're going to come to the, to, the, to the Versa 2. I mean, my watch, because remember, I pair it with my phone. So uh, we're going to go to up. And uh, from app, we're going to look for the app that we want to set up. So uh, in this case, it's going to be the Spotify. Click on Spotify and it has been already installed, which is good. Uh, to settings, then login. Then it's going to take me into the Spotify account. I hope you're seeing it this. Let me put the phone down actually here. Maybe you see it. So uh, yeah, so we we have this Spotify. We are just going to log in, and then I'll log in, and then I'll come back. So we are done with the logins. Eventually, we're going to accept some agreement, some terms. So I will uh, agree to it, and then it's asking us to open Fitbit. Then we open the Fitbit again. Uh, that's it. So I want to refuse for the location, and then we are set. So everything is done on the phone. Then we go to the watch, as you see, it says, welcome back. I mean, welcome to the Spotify. And then we can let, we can do let's go. So it's finishing up. Um, now it's asking me how do you, how do I want uh, to play this? Because right now I can play on my Alexa, sorry, I can play because this does not have a speaker, I guess. I can play with my Alexa Echo Plus. That is Alexa device. Um, is this is a speaker. Or I can play this on my PC. Um, let's play this with the Alexa because that is the only one we have. Or we could also play through our headphones, but I don't, I don't have a, uh, I don't have a Bluetooth headphone at the moment. So we are gonna use the Alexa Echo Plus. And then put play. Yeah, I can hear it. It's playing on my Alexa device, uh, which is interesting. So basically, you the best thing to do with this watch, with this watch is to have a Bluetooth headphones. Once it's connected, the sound will automatically go to it. Because I can actually hear it right now on my Alexa. It's playing there right now. Um, you see? Let me see if I can increase the volume a little bit here. Um, yeah, it's playing. I'm, I'm sorry you cannot hear it, but uh, I'm positive it's playing and I can hear the sound here. Try to see if I can increase the volume uh, somewhere here, but um, I go there. It does not allow me to increase the volume. Anyway, so uh, yeah, that's the only way you can play. You have to find a, um, an output source. It can be your Bluetooth headphones or any other uh, Bluetooth device that can uh, can connect to, the, to it to play sounds. So that's the only way you can play. Uh, the phone itself cannot give you, cannot play the sounds because I guess there's no big speakers to play the sound with. All right, that is done. You can uh, go to the next song from here and shuffle, like everything you want to do. But uh, that is that is good. Let me see if I have another way of doing stuff here. Um, so um, that is pretty much it. That that was uh, Spotify. Next, we have Relax. Relax. Um, maybe it's gonna check. Relax, two minute breathing. So basically you have to breathe and then it's gonna measure your heart rate sensor and all that. Let's start. Um, let me try to put this watch on, okay? Be right back. It's giving me instruction actually. So basically you just have to follow it and then um, that's it, right? Just follow the instruction. And actually it's vibrating. When I have to breathe, it tells me by vibrating which is uh, which is very very good and you see how many time how many minutes you have left the progress bar is here so it's gonna go up to the end right that is that is it um, 
so uh, again on top of that we can go back we can go back and we have the weather obviously you need to be connected to the internet so right now we're gonna I have not set up anything for the uh, for the watch so again I have to go to the Fitbit to uh, set it up everything has to be done on the phone first so <clears throat> I don't want to waste time on the weather, no, it's not important. And then we have a music. Music basically it looks like you have to transfer four, you have to transfer music from your desktop to the device and play through your headphones. And then we have settings. Settings is obviously where you can adjust multiple stuff. You can adjust the brightness, uh, you can adjust the auto, uh, they said auto adjust to lighting condition. So basically this, uh, when the phone feel like it's too bright, it might increase the brightness. When it feels like it's too dark outside, it will decrease the brightness for your eyes to not suffer, um, which is very, very good. Again, uh, screen timeout um, before the screen sleep. So basically you can, you can increase this or decrease it. Basically if you not, you are not doing any activities, after 10 seconds, the screen will go off. This will help you to save batteries. Sometimes I feel like it's too, it's too, um, it's too short because sometimes you are thinking what to do and then it goes off. You see, if you, if you count right now to 10, it's going to go off just after 10 seconds. And if I'm thinking of doing something, then I have again to type it and then go back into it. Um, that is, uh, one aspect. So it's always good maybe to keep it at 20 or 30 seconds also. Always display on, so like I said, this is always displayed. I don't know if you can, yeah, you can turn it off. So it's not gonna be always on, so it's gonna actually save you some batteries. Sleep mode, again, do not disturb. Um, screen wake is automatically, if you put your wrist up, like if you turn your wrist, it's gonna, uh, it's gonna turn it on. Vibration, you can modify. Microphone, you can enable it. Uh, uh, it's the left button press and hold to activate uh, maybe you know if you want to go back sometimes you have to press and hold to activate it um, yeah you can go to you can go and play with those numbers there Alexa um, you have Alexa right now is off we leave it as it is you can go and play you can manage Bluetooth connections if you have a headphone or any Bluetooth speakers you can uh, you can connect through it um, Heart rate features you can go into details and about. So about uh, this is the version, firmware version is 35.68.9.12. The MAC address is there. The IP uh, address for the Wi-Fi, I guess, is off. The memory, this is available memory. So um, and uh, information and this is how you want to reset it. So basically, if you want to return this. For, for instance, to the shop, you might want to clear all your personal data before you do so. Uh, otherwise, you may return this device with your, all your personal data, right? So we don't want that. So always make sure that if in any case you buy this and you don't like it after the 14 days, which most um, shop gives these days, uh, you can always return it. And then if you want to shut down, you have to uh, press the shut down buttons. Uh, guys, this is a thing that is we have covered everything we were on settings oh no not finished yet we have a desert i don't know what that is i don't know what is the strava i don't know tips i get it let's see what this is oh it's gonna uh, you're gonna connect to the uh to the internet it gives you a code i don't really don't know what this is and then the strava i don't know what that is either uh link so basically look it says go to your Strava settings on your favorite mobile app and log in. You have to guess you have to log in and tips and tips. Um, again, it's going to tell you how to use the, uh, the device. It says press and hold. We, you know, we have gone through this already and you can actually, I guess, pay um, to get a notification. You have to bring it up to down. And uh, yeah, so let me see here this one. Payment. You can actually pay with the uh, with the device. Um, yeah, got it. And then you can set up your wallet. I don't want to go through this today. And settings. I think that is it. And that's pretty much it. I don't 
think we can change can we change the uh, the clock face hmm. can we change the clock face let's see here because i don't see the settings demo display microphones photo the bulb no i don't know if we can change the clock face here uh, if anybody knows how we do it just let me know in the comment below all right so this will bring an end to our today's let me see here yeah so this will conclude today's video uh, this was a quick setup and uh, kind of a review of the Fitbit Versa 2 um stay tuned don't forget to con don't forget to subscribe to the channel because my next video i will be doing a comparison between the uh, fitbit versa the first version and the fitbit versa to this version so you can know what are the difference between the two and also this will help you to decide whether if you already have the fitbit versa one to upgrade to the fitbit versa two or not once again, thank you so much for uh, joining me today. Don't forget to subscribe, like, and comment down below. Um, this is Maxi Limit signing out.